in the yeah. world we live in, it just, they think like, Anything but of the opposite sex. Like, if I take a picture with a guy, it's like, oh, y'all are dating. And it's are you like, guys are and blah, blah, blah. I was, I was dating so Batch vulgar. for the longest time, I, apparently. Guys, what about me and Rice? I still am, apparently. Yeah, right, right. Me and Rice. Like, we had a whole relationship. I, it was rummer. We had a lot. We had a really? relationship. Oh, honey. Welcome to the Oh Honey podcast. Where you get the sticky and the sweet with Summer. And Amanda. And today we have Jenna. <laughs> Thank you for having me. No, thanks for coming. You look gorgeous. I love I know she shows up in these pajamas. I'm like, because yeah. y'all didn't give me I any of yours yet. Yeah. Yes, well, <laughs> merch. Is link in bio, right? Link in bio. <laughs> oh, wait, no, link, link in description. Where are we? Oh, my, where is this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then if you're driving, listen to this on podcast. Link in, um, oh, honey, in the diary <laughs> dot com. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We like, don't even know what's happening. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Well, you look great. Thank and you. you started on Vine, right? I started on Vine with our friends Batch and yeah. they Storm and them. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Who both have Loved. been on here. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah, nice. yeah, Re recently. Nice. Mm -hmm. Started from Vine, now we're here. Yeah. Started from Vine, yeah. now we're here. <laughs> yeah. That's where a lot of us started. We started doing funny skits, and then I met everybody. I met probably you through all of them and Batch. Mm -hmm. And kind of when everybody transitioned to Instagram, when Instagram was doing 15-second videos. Yeah. We went there. Then I... And then? Know. And then now? Then I kind of I <laughs> hopped into the fitness thing. Yeah. Um... Uh, for a while, mm -hmm. so it was the fitness. I feel and like then, then that's how we met. <laughs> and, and then and eventually then, yeah. me and Summer met, and we started doing fitness things together. And I try to get a summer booty all the time, but I don't want to put in the summer work. We, we talk about this all the time. I know, me and Jenny hang out all the time. Back like we've known each other forever, and it's like she'd watch me work out. She's like, damn. You actually work out? I'm like, yeah. do I have? I actually work out. Sweating. Why are you guys having you guys hung out in so long? Because yeah. she forgot about me. <gasps> Summer. That is so not true. She just, you know, <gasps> moved to LA and doesn't know who I am anymore. I'm just kidding. I was like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, so, life just happens. No, but life we always stay in touch. Yeah, We've definitely. never not stayed in touch. Like, Jenna's always like one of the most supportive friends I've ever had, and I yeah. love her. She's so great. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That's so sweet. She's, Jenna's like literally an A1 day one. She always is. Like, no matter what, like, I didn't even get my own <laughs> calendar the first year I ever had a calendar. And Jenna's like, I ordered your calendar. And then I never got it. I went over to her house. I was like, oh, I never got it. I never saw it in person. Can I see it? And then she's like, oh, you can have it because I never got one. I was like, that is so, so sweet. You she buy goes her calendar in and, and then and she actually her. buys stuff. I'm like, she's just so, like, she does that for all that her friends. That is super she's supportive. Just, oh. It's just so supportive and sweet. And we both have extra cars. Our cars are super loud, so. Yeah, I actually saw I her love at 7 Eleven the other day. I yeah. know, I saw her. I was like, she had a pink. <laughs> well, you have she like changed the same it's one. Is it the same? same yeah, it's type? like the same kind of Jeep. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I love it Jeep though. Life. It's like, yeah. Because a lot gang. of girls don't have those type of cars. They have like Mercedes, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Audis. Just mm -hmm. kidding. I'm like, Audis. <laughs> And we're like girly, but we're tomboy, so I yeah, think that's yeah, why yeah. we always click, because we're like not afraid to get dirty. Yeah, yeah. we both love animals. I mean, animals. I still don't work out as hard as her, but <laughs> I still like to, you know, put work and We in. both have weird animals. Like, I've had a tarantula my whole <laughs> life, and then she's had a snake, because when I went over to her house, I'm like, just There's a random There's a lot of snake. similarities here. <laughs> I know. Yeah, like, anyway, okay. we both like love animals. Like, Jenna, you love animals. You've mm -hmm. like been super into the wildlife lately. Yes, yes. Can you yeah, talk definitely. more on that? Ooh, yeah, what? for sure. I've really? been doing um, so I've been linking with friends and doing different animal conservation work. Love so basically, uh, I'm learning a lot. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and act like I know everything. Yeah. But basically, my first trip, I went to Honduras and we got like jaguar interactions and like different types of monkeys, spider monkeys, and we kind of just learned about them because all of the big cats are endangered. Yeah. So um, I also have been linking with a organization called Tigers, and basically it, they're with Rare Species Fund. So what they do is they fund projects. Like one of the projects they did was they built a village for people in Africa. Mm -hmm. And so they built the village away from where the gorillas and the apes were living. So there was So there was no, you know, conflict because right. they're tearing down their territory mm -hmm. and then they have nowhere to live. And it's like, you know, we got to save the wildlife because yeah. we're reproducing like crazy, but then you have all they're the animals that are disappearing. In, yeah, they're in danger. Yeah. And I like, work a lot with uh, UN Wildlife and nice. like that's like. It's crazy because even, you know, sea life too. It's yeah. just, it's everything. And even if you're picking one animal to support or one cause, like it's great. And just spreading the awareness exactly. like is amazing. So. And that's why I'm like, 
we always post pictures, all the pictures are cute and blah, 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 but it's it's cool to post something and then there be, you're Meaning. helping something, you know, yeah. like with the tiger situation, like a lot of people don't know that there's only 4,000 yeah, left like in the world. It. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like when you post something like that, they're like, oh my gosh, she's not only with a cute tiger, but wow, there's only 4,000 left in the world. Yeah. Like what? Yeah, yeah you, you get the attention yeah. and you give the facts. Exactly. So that's cool. So it works. That's and something it, I would love to do, honestly, because I'm obsessed with animals. Like that's, that's like my yeah. favorite yeah. thing in the world. Like yeah. I. I would love to visit some you cheetahs. Should. You yeah. should. Cheetah's my that. favorite animal yeah, in the cheetahs, world. Yeah, so. cheetahs, that's funny you said that because the cheetah was the, they're the one that are like very spunky and kind of unpredictable. You can mm -hmm. kind of, I mean, the people who are around them every day kind of know, but mm -hmm. it's like I was around one and I was like a little like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, no, you would definitely it? love the experience. So oh, if you ever want to do that, let yeah, me know. Yeah, you <laughs> link up again and go on these wildlife trips and rekindle the, the flame. Wildlife. I would love that. I feel like a matchmaker. Sure. Right. <laughs> yeah. For me, because I'd always love to do something like that, but I don't even know how to get into it. That's exactly. That's how I was. And then I like just met different friends that did it. And I'm like, yo. Oh, yeah, because you do a lot with... Um, Tarzan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he... So the first trip that we went on was to Honduras. So that kind of like opened my eyes tremendously. Because yeah. I was just like, wow, we can really like do this. We can travel places and yeah. like see these animals and learn. Because you learn the most when you get to interact. And like mm -hmm. people have their feelings about it. Like you shouldn't, you know... But I don't deal with any animals that are on drugs or anything. Like, I don't support yeah. that. I would never support any, you know, that stuff is just wrong. And you'll know, though. They look, because I yeah. actually went to Thailand, and it was like we cried. Mm -hmm. Because it was like the tigers were drugged. Mm -hmm. And, like, you got some girls that are like, oh, my God, take this picture. But the tiger's like, yeah. Right. And it's just sad, because it's yeah. like, That's they the don't get life. to make that choice. It's one thing if they're in captivity and being taken care of. Mm -hmm. And you know, able to run, but these they're in I tiny know. cages. It gets confusing too for people because a lot of zoos now promote that, you know, oh, we're yeah. rescue. It's yeah. like, is that just like a word like how organic is thrown on things? Yeah, like, exactly. it's like, and we're rescue, so it's and okay. That's, that's what was really tough for me because I was just like, um, how do you know yeah. what to support and what not to support? Because there is some zoos that do give back to wildlife conservation, yeah. and then, but it's like, you just need to definitely pay attention to how they're being yeah. handled and kept. And, and like, you, do your research. And yeah, stuff you have to too. do. You have to do research, and that's one thing that I learned because I've spoken on things before and not been a hundred percent, and it came back to bite me in the tail. But like, you just have to realize, like, okay, just be open-minded and willing to learn, and you'll learn a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm happy that you've gotten into that. It's amazing. Yeah. I always see your post. I'm like, oh. It makes me happy. Like, it really does. Like, I want to get, like you said, more into the the water. Mm -hmm. those creatures because I recently went to Hawaii and we saw sea turtles like asleep on yeah. the beach and it was like the most unreal experience ever because it just like happened right yeah. and there's so much to do with like the well like you know yeah. all the trash and all the oil like there's so and it much and all circles trading. back in together like have you seen like the whale that they opened up and it was just full of like tons of plastic oh. it was just like yeah it's because they probably just ingest it because they're so big yeah, that they, they just it suck just it in it. but it's a realization of like how much is in our oceans it's crazy oh, it's so sad when you see videos of like trash in the oceans of that's something yeah. i would be there's islands of about. trash there's yeah. like i want to get involved islands. in something where like cleaning beaches because so many beaches are so yeah. so horrible like you see it and you can't even believe it and i you love should do beach, that yeah. i'll yeah you all, like i'll, I'll be out there too. I, don't, I would go so clean it. Yeah. yeah, I just went to Ghana and um, in Africa, and I saw the beaches out there. And I was just—it was funny because we were out one night, so we were mm -hmm. drinking, hanging out, blah blah blah. And like the way the bar, like club, was set up, you could see the ocean. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, oh my god, the ocean's right there. That's amazing. I look out, plastic along the whole beach, yeah. and like they don't really realize like that's not okay. Like everybody doesn't know. Some people it's, are ignorant to it. Well, it's you need. Uh, that's and they the don't number have one. a recycling program. Right. And they, I found yeah. out um, that they burn trash. And I'm like, you can't burn your trash if there's plastic in it because it goes into it's, the earth. Yeah. And that's what contaminates the animals and, and the... It's all education. Yeah. And right. it's like people have to literally come into these places yeah. too and bring ways for them to recycle. Exactly. Like bring... Because right. even when I was, I was in the Maldives uh, visiting this one resort mm -hmm. that the, everything's put back into the island. So it's like, okay... Like they try to use the island, but give back to the island at the same time, and then also pro provide ways to recycle for the neighboring islands as well. Oh, that's good. Because they're so used to just throwing things in the ocean. Because in their minds, they were raised to think, oh, the ocean is our trash can. Right. And we don't, they don't swim in it. Yeah. A lot of them don't even exactly. know how to swim. So yeah. they're like, they're they not, they didn't have that interaction with the ocean that 
they could appreciate the ocean and for what it is. And they don't have the education and like being, when you're raised a certain way, it's like. Even in the U.S. though, it's like a lot of people don't know how to recycle or, you know, even where it goes. And it's sad because some of the recycling doesn't even get recycled. Exactly. That's what I was saying with the plastic yeah. bottles. I'm like, I don't even want to use them anymore. I want to yeah. get like a water, you know, what are those called? Well, you got one today. Yeah. So that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, I was like, dang, like I have my, I looked at my recycling and I'm like, wow, half of these bottles aren't going to make it to mm -hmm. recycling probably. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I put them in the recycling bin, but if you know, like, what, is, what do they say? Like a third only makes it to yeah. be recycled or something like and that? It, yeah. Not even. Because they don't think. know where to what to do with all of it because people aren't recycling correctly either yeah and like, also then they're putting trash like yeah. trash trash like food yeah. and stuff in yeah it and you got to like, clean it out yeah we'll have a whole like in the description below this video we'll have a whole way on how to recycle too <laughs> we'll perfect. do it yeah <laughs> because this. that's something it doesn't even you know it's not taught in school really it's just saying recycle okay what does that mean yeah right, in other you know? countries i think it's just all, really not educated if it's not educated here they don't even have because when i was in bali like, too so mm -hmm. i think it's all around it's like they have like runoffs and they use the runoffs like the streams and it runs off into the ocean yeah. they use it as their trash like they're dumping stuff into it and then it's going straight into the ocean like yeah. we we're in this resort next to a runoff and it smelled so bad it was like disgusting and then you didn't want to be in the mm -hmm. beach because it yeah it's hurting disgusting. it hurts tourism too for these exactly for the countries That's what also. i was telling them in ghana like yeah people would love to come here until they see this beach like yeah so. it's just like not but it's, it's not. getting the people to understand like okay this is important because and then so they have that love for the environment mm -hmm. too but then also just providing ways and education for them how to understand how to do it yeah but I, even when I was in India, like I saw a lot of like litter and yeah. stuff everywhere. And I understand it's not a priority. Like when in their lives, they're just trying to survive too. a lot of the people. So it's right, like, yeah. all right, you want to tell me about a water bottle when I'm just out here trying to like feed Get my water. kid? Yeah, <laughs> right. exactly. Yeah. But, and but then, if they see that it ties into tourism and that tourism will bring, bring more money, money to, to feed your kids. And, yeah. yeah. I was, but I was like, what about the idea? of in India say like all right you know how when we were little and they still have it where you can go to the grocery stores and you recycle the bottles and you get money back yeah. for them like have them literally everywhere in mm -hmm. India and then people just have to pick up the streets and put it in and they get money out yeah and it was like, like a job yeah it, they do it yeah. with like scooters and everything now to recharge them so why can't they do it with water bottles exactly but yeah. it's a big investment from like yeah, their government. Yeah, it's easy to say, machine, but then it's like. But if they can give all of, like, I'm just stuck on India because uh, you know yeah. I was there and I just like experienced it. So and it's a beautiful country, but it's just like that one thing. I was yeah. like, we can improve on that. And then they gave everybody free internet over there, which is incredible because that provides awareness and education too, if used the right way. Yeah. <laughs> but um, if they can do that, they can you know put money into other things exactly. too. Exactly. So. It's just figuring out the priorities. Yeah. The trip to India looked amazing, by the way. Thanks. You looked amazing. Yeah, oh, she killed it that day. Right. So I was like, <laughs> I was like <laughs> forever just going to talk know, about the dance. She, she like, <laughs> I know, right? The dance was amazing, though. She like told me it's she crazy. was like all stressed out because she had to learn an eight minute dance, all that stuff. And then I saw the video. I'm like, bitch, that looked like you were like practicing your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Guys. was amazing. Mm. Well, let's go into like, like love relationships. That was good. <laughs> got it. Got to get the awareness out there. That's great. But yeah. Let's lighten it up a bit and dive into the honey pots. Honey So pot. this is where our <laughs> queen bees and our king bees write their diary entries into us at diary at ohoneydiary.com. Nice. And then they ask us for advice. Cool. Let's do it. And yeah, here we go. I'll read the first one. So, oh honey, my first serious relationship ended badly. I'll tell you the brief story. I started dating my high school sweetheart and I thought we were really in love. He was a year older than I am and he went away to college first. When I went to go visit him in college, I was still a senior in high school, I felt like everyone was looking and acting weird around me, but I figured that they were just awkward because I was still in high school. A couple months later on winter break, my boyfriend came home and broke up with me. I was devastated but even more devastated when I found out that he had been cheating on me the entire first semester that he was in college. That's why everyone had been weird towards me every time I would visit him. The worst part is that now, two years later, and I still haven't gotten over the hurt of it. 
Every time I start to get more serious with the guy, I freak out that he is cheating on me and I ruin everything. I self-sabotage it because I can't trust anyone. Have you ever been cheated on and how do you get over it? Jenny. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, I've been in a situation actually very similar to that. Did you, did you send this in, Jenna? <coughs> yeah. Was it me? Jenny? Jenny? Out of why? Jenny, I'm like, yeah. nice cover up. Right. Huh? Yeah. No, uh, yeah, I've been in a similar situation to that. And you do have to realize that you can't blame yourself because mm. uh, often you want to blame yourself like, well, what did I do wrong? And you try to dissect the relationship and figure out where you went wrong when really like as a when a man is going into college, that's a big life change. And that mm -hmm. had nothing to do with her. But I feel like with that, it was just like because like my situation was my ex um, basically uh, started to play really well. He was an athlete, he started to play really well. And then um, I think he just got caught up in all of that and then, you know, decided to be with Dude. another girl. And yeah. I think that that just, like I said, it had nothing to do with me and I thought it did for a while. So like every time a red flag, like any guy I was dating, like recently still, like I still battle it. Mm -hmm. But like, um, you, you start to think like, oh my God, he's gonna do it. You can't though, you can't blame Jim for what Jack did because yeah. you'll never be, um, you'll never be happy and you'll never find peace. Yeah. So you just have to take each situation for what it is. Yeah. You can't bring your past in. That's how I feel about it. That's mm -hmm. what I took out of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's also the the whole college thing. I think that happens a lot. Yeah. Like especially it's just like so from many options too and you've never yeah. been around it's it. New. It's like as a, a guy, life. it's like and then you like went on your old thing. It's like maybe long distance. It seemed like they're long distance because she would visit him. Yeah. And it's like she's not around. And he's seen all this new, fresh meat. And she yeah. can't <laughs> relate to his lifestyle anymore. His lifestyle changed, so it's like it's it's not as relatable. It's like she's in high school. Mm -hmm. He's in college. Like, think. That, have you guys been to college at all? Yeah. Okay. So like, think about when you go to college. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went to college too, and it's just like a different. Like, it's like freedom, and yeah, you could kind of do what you want. You yeah, know, so it's just like for the first that time too, because you too. you move out of yeah, your I was parents' like, now that house. I remember. <laughs> you move out of your parents' house. It's like a fresh new. You feel like free. Like, and that old girlfriend is probably making him feel chained in too. So now it's like mm -hmm. he wants to break free of everything, and yeah. he's probably like in college now. It's like oh my little high school girlfriend. Like I can I'm totally into, I'm into the college this. girls now. <laughs> I like I can totally relate. I just this is a great sign for you. The fact that you will forget about it because I yeah. Forgot about it. I completely. totally just <laughs> forgot about it. Like when I went to college, my boyfriend was a year older than me, but he didn't go to college and he mm -hmm. stayed back down south in Florida. And then, so when I went, I was like, oh, like this is fun. Like I'm in college, but instead of me being the one like doing stuff with him, like cheating on him, it was like him back home. He never cheated on me, but like I could see him building a relationship with like one of his coworkers. And I was like, oh, <laughs> like, and I remember that feeling because there's literally nothing that you can do about like somebody falling in love with somebody exactly, else too. Yeah. So, and I'm so far away too. I'm like, who's, how can I blame him? Like we're so young. Yeah. And I just remember though that I was hurting so bad. I just still remember that feeling now that I think about it. No, um, I remember. Yeah, thanks. Jenny, um, <laughs> <laughs> just being in the room and just it feels like somebody literally just like stabs it you in the stomach. It feels physical. Yeah. Like, heartbreak like literally feels physical. Yeah. Yeah. I always say this, me and my mom always say this, I'd rather have a legit broken leg <laughs> than a broken heart. Because yeah, the broken heart hurts. hurts more than the broken leg. Wow. And it's like, it's it's like longer. And you can, yeah. and there's nothing you can do to like, you know, you can take some You can time killer. the healing you for can, that. You can't yeah. time the healing. And you can numb your leg and you can, <laughs> take some painkillers, but there's no like mm. painkiller for a broken heart. Yeah. What did help me though was I didn't bring that pain into my next relationship. Yeah. I gave myself enough time to get over him exactly, yeah. before getting into something new. And like that meant like going out, like yeah. just like just trying to do anything not to think about it because it was like devastating. It definitely That's like is. the painkiller actually a little bit. You try to like go out, drink, yeah. but sometimes it you makes know, it even friends. worse. You know, yeah. it's like, oh. Well, it's yeah. so, and sometimes like it, never it works for the, the moment. No. Yeah. And then like you go, and then you go back to it. So and you have to really over. face it and heal. Like, yeah, no, because then the party's over and you're in your own thoughts and you're like, damn. You go home and yeah. you're like, you're like, that okay. would have been. Okay, well. 
That was Here fun, but I had more fun with him. Oh, when he was yeah, you started comparing time. And I'm yeah. not really like a huge party. I don't like to party. So when I go out, I'm just looking around. I'm looking at all the guys. I'm like getting disgusted. I'm like, oh, God. I'm going to be alone forever. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm not I'm going to be there. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like you said, you have to give yeah. yourself. And it's yourself. You can't like compare yourself like, well, my friend got over hers right away. But like you definitely have to like just do Your what own works journey. for you mm -hmm. and like how you feel. And it might take you a year. It might take you two. It might take you three. Mm -hmm. But definitely, you gotta leave your heart open to find, you know, so it can find its way in. But I'm just like in a trance time. right now with how pretty you are. I know like, you're not. I'm over here yeah. like y'all look and amazing. I'm like looking over there. Your <laughs> lip gloss is like oh, amazing. Jenna's always popping. Yeah, out. <laughs> like yeah. I don't know. There's never a time I've ever seen this bitch that doesn't look so good. This is day so three good. hair, guys. This what? is day three she curls. She just like is like oh my she gosh. She has these blue eyes. Like she's just. So I actually yeah. just rolled out of the bed and came here in my pajamas. If you're yeah. listening to this podcast, <laughs> don't say it's that. So beautiful. I took yeah. like an hour to do this makeup. I was like, I'm gonna be with these pretty girls. I need to really. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I love how her, 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 her makeup matches her pajamas. Yeah, it's like it's she got all. I tried to. I tried to do pink eyeshadow. Most girls get here, they bring their like, they change into it in the bathroom because they don't want to wear it all yeah. day. Jenna's like, no, I'm killing this. Like, oh yeah, I'm this is no my outfit for the day. I like this. Yeah, I've been wanting cute. to wear this. Dude, that I, is a that Are you a in a look. relationship right now? No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not do, at all. Do you go on <laughs> dates? I actually am open to it, but I actually like went on a couple dates with somebody and they were just boring. Yeah. I'm very like adventurous. Yeah. So if you're like scared well, yeah, of Yeah, you're things, hanging out with cheetahs and Yeah, I yeah. am like and then I'm also tomboyish, so there's some guys that I've noticed a lot in LA. They want that girl who's just like pretty bougie and <laughs> doesn't speak too much. I'm yeah. kind of outspoken and like They're I'll walk they to my car barefoot. Woman. Like it's just some stuff that I'll do that yeah. like some people will like cringe at. And I'm like, okay, well, yeah, this that's is, the one for me. I'm not gonna. I used to try to like change myself. I feel like you're gonna meet somebody traveling. I might. Yeah, I feel I like might. that's probably what's gonna happen. But yeah, I just I love like I'm really like more in tune with like nature now, mm -hmm. like and learning like even what you just told me about the glass bottles. I'm like, okay, that's a great idea. I need to do that. Mm -hmm. Like I like I just want to be a sponge and just learn and just. I explore know, one thing and I travel. See Jenna always doing is reading. I'm like, and I, I need read to get on her level. That is she reads <laughs> so <laughs> much. She loves yeah. reading. I'm like, I need a new bookshelf. Remember my bookshelf? Dude, you love I books. But it's there's, inspiring. there's nothing better than and just... And I collect them, so... When you learn, life is just so much more yeah. interesting. Like, when you educate yourself, you're like, and when oh, you're open like, to I understand learning. this. Like, oh, And you see I'm, from a like, different view. Because yeah. if you only think about your point of view all the time, you just get lost. When I read a book... Even some, some stuff I don't agree with, I'll read the book and I'll be like, okay, well, I, I see why somebody might think like that. So it opens your mind a little bit so you don't get yeah, frustrated. Even, being with, and, even hanging out with Amanda, it's like I see, I start think, seeing things from a different yeah. perspective that I wouldn't have just being in my own mind. You know, yeah. just be hanging out with different people that have different views and it doesn't mean that her view is wrong or my view is wrong. It's just different views. You yeah. just have to be open to like the way, because you might not agree, but like when you, what and did you don't have to agree. Jay, uh, not Jay-Z. You know? Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, like, what did they say? They were like, when they, like, would argue, mm -hmm. or they said oh, something. Oh, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? She said it so beautifully, she did. too. That's why I don't even want to push it. Dude, I love Jada. She <laughs> says some yeah. stuff. So I love that. They're so, that like, woman real is so about inspiring. It. Yeah. I love when she talks. It's I can wise. literally just watch her talk. It is. Like, it's, she's everything. not saying we're perfect. She's not saying we never argue, but she's saying when we do argue, we try to see where each other is coming yeah, it's from. it's respecting. So we can, you know, another. fix the problem and be like, okay, well, I understand where you're coming from. So yeah, let's work on that. She's like, instead of screaming, we're talking. Exactly. Yeah, it's like. Exactly. Yeah. She's exactly. she's a very empowerful. Like she's an empowering woman. Yeah, like, I love her so she's much. She's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, she's. And fun. that's one thing. Would you say in LA, it's like hard to find women that support women? Yes. Yes. I feel what? like. Yeah, I feel like it's. There's a lot that will, but I feel like there's a lot that will to an extent. Yeah. Right. So it's like they don't want to see you doing too much yeah, better than them. Yeah. Because when they see you do like too good, it's kind of like. Okay, I need to fall back, or like I need to like um, you know s distance myself so I can shine more, or like something mm -hmm. like that. And I'm just like, we could all. There's enough success for us to all win. And mm -hmm. honestly, it looks better and it looks less self-centered when you're winning with your friends. Like to me, I, there's nothing. I don't want to travel alone mm -hmm. and take cool pics alone. Like I want to you know travel with my friends and like build memories. Mm -hmm. But like everybody's not doesn't have that mindset out here. Yeah. 
It's very so competitive. It so. is competitive. That's a good word. Good yeah. Job. It's like survival almost. <laughs> They're yeah. like, but you don't. But you have so thing. much more fun when you're with other yeah. people, I feel like. So it's just like, I mean, I love my alone time. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But like, it's so much fun when you can like go out with your girls yeah. and do an experience or like horseback riding or skydiving. I did that. So yeah. yeah like, that's the thing for and the it was so time. much fun. Like if I would have went alone, it would have been like, but yeah. going together, vlogging it, making it a thing, like that's fun. I like that perspective on vlogging though. Yeah. Like that was, cause I have, like I, I'm not comfortable with doing it to other people, but I'll be in other people's and I'll be fine, <laughs> you know? So for me, it was like not a positive experience of doing it just because also I just, it, it wasn't a negative experience, but it was like kind of like this, like yeah. coasting, like I just didn't care, Yeah. you know? And for you, you, you no, that's you my thing. It. Like I'm very. It's <laughs> yeah. not that I don't like vlog. It's that I don't like having a camera. I don't like being that girl pulling out a camera all the time. Vlogging. It's much better when you can have somebody do it for you. Yeah. Like, so if somebody's like, if you have a cameraman that's like vlogging, like I then commend, I commend those those people who have like a crew that can like vlog their whole yeah. situation. Because then you get you get to have fun. You're not worried about pulling right. your camera. And then you're not having to yeah. worry about because yeah. most of it is mental of having to remember. Oh, because a lot of the times I'll like be like, oh, I wish I got that on camera, yeah. you know. And then you didn't. And then you you got to get like the little op kicks <laughs> like camera. I know we have need to have it <laughs> and just put them on the slide and just record everything. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's what makes. But I also special. think that a lot of people like the the personal because when you're holding it, it's more personal. When and they you feel like you're talking camera, like to them. I yeah, feel. because it's a more personal experience. When someone's vlogging for you, following you around, it's not as personal. I just I feel mm. like it's more you. I feel like when somebody's following you, they capture the real you. Yeah. yeah. I feel like when you're like this, you kind of put on like a, a show. Yeah. Yeah. You're like okay. But I need most to YouTubers do put on a show because yeah. I know a lot of YouTubers in real life and they're not the same. Yeah. But I like them more. <laughs> but it's we were just talking about that. Yeah. But the it fact is. that is a show. Okay, guys, let's get to our second question. The sticky. Oh, honey. Dip into the honey pot. <laughs> honey pot. Oh, honey. Okay. So my story. My name is Brittany. I'm 25, and, a, and I'm a PhD student from New York, just studying the scene. So about a month ago, one of my guy best friends of two years has admitted his interest in me. I'm flattered, but to be honest, he couldn't be more in the friend zone. He's just too f***ing better for me. So I nicely let him know I don't see him that way. Well, he has become obsessed with trying to change my mind in the most disparate t attempts ever, only making him less attractive to me. I'm to the point where I can't even stand talking to him anymore because it's annoying and I've never felt more turned off by a person. So basically, am I just a bitch or a shitty friend? Or is it reasonable for me just to stop talking to him? Thanks. A girl who just wants a dope-ass alpha to be a power couple with. Hmm. Jenna? <laughs> like, hmm. She sounds, all these, I feel like y'all went in my head and kind of like put this on paper. <laughs> yeah. No, but that sounds so familiar to a situation I just dealt with. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think you're a bitch. Did, but I'm like asking her, but did you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I have so many questions. <laughs> because if you express to him that like you're not interested in being romantically involved with him and he's your friend, I feel like he should accept that. But. The thing with the male ego is they don't accept. They either try harder or they they yeah. think it's a themselves. challenge. They're like, they either think oh, you don't want to be my girl? That's a challenge. It's they like, either no, think no, no, it's no. a challenge or they think it's you being mean, and they're just like, oh no, nah, like I can't even be her friend. Yeah. So I don't think it's being a. I've had to not be friends with a lot of guys. It just happened to I've me too. A, a really lot good of friend good of mine. guy friends yeah. over this. It's like, why do we have to be weird now? All of a sudden yeah. they're weird. It's like. I just wasn't interested. I love you as a person. I love you as a friend, but I'm just, I don't see you as that. And I can never, and I'll never be happy. I'll, what, we date for two seconds? And then I'm like, okay, really, I don't like you. Right. Sorry. Like, yeah. I'm not going to, like, fake it. But I do love you as a person. Yeah. And I love you as a friend. Exactly. And yeah. it's, like, legit, like, friendships of, like, they stop being friends with you because of their ego or whatever. It hurts because it's, like, I really love you and I care yeah, for you. But as sad. a friend, like, and it always, like, it, I had this with a guy and like I've told him like my romantic situation so like I opened up to you about that once I opened to you about that I'm probably not ever gonna yeah. right. be we're, that we're two with you friends. Yeah. and don't you yeah. wish like sometimes I have the best guy friends ever they're like I love like my best friend I would consider yeah. them my best friend then they get weird then they like fall in love and then it's weird it's like why did I have to lose yeah, you that's, I could tell you I everything understand. like when people get in relationships and then they just like X out their friends yeah like that's like 
to me, why? Yeah. Like, you can still have friends. You can have friends of different sexes. Like, yeah. it's totally fine. But it's just the world we live in. The yeah. world we live in, it just, they think, like, anything of the opposite sex. Like, if I take a picture with a guy, it's like, oh, y'all are dating. And it's are like, you guys are blah, blah, blah. I was, I was dating Bad so for the longest time, I, apparently. Guys, <laughs> what about me and Rice? I still am, apparently. Yeah, right, right. Me and Rice, like, we had a whole relationship. I was, it was rumor. We had a, la we had a really? relationship name. I'm known to a lot of people as Rice's girlfriend. I'm like, oh my gosh. Really? I'm like, I would never what? think that. Like, yeah, no, we we're friends. Like, we're yeah. we've never been I've more like than friends, and we've yeah. always been friends. But we kind of just was like, I was to the point where it's like, I don't want to be like, no, we're not dating. No, we're not dating all the time. So I just yeah. was kind of like, whatever. You're like, yeah, sure. Think what you Something. want. Rubber that's, for life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, how, that's how it is. Because you don't want to be like, no, and we're then, not. No, and we're then not. I don't want to be like that because then I don't want to offend Rice. Like, yeah. Oh no, I would never date you. But like, no, you're my brother though. Like, you know, it's like you're my brother. Like y'all are making it real hard for me to friend zone this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but. Do you think it yeah. always is a friend zone? Like, do you think you put Rice in the friend zone? Yeah, I literally think of him <laughs> like, as my best friend. Like, I literally love him as a human, as a brother. Like, once it gets to that point in my mind, when I see you too much as that, I yeah. can't go back. Yeah. Like, I don't know why. Like, you're But did a your friendship start with him trying to. No, me and him have always been friends only. Yeah. Like, literally, he is that, you know, like, he's like some your best. Yeah, some friendships start yeah. like that, where the guy is like, uh, I like you, and you're like, friend, and they're like, friend, cool. and then they're like, okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. be your friend until I like, yeah. swoop in. It's like, nope, you're never swooping in, bro. You're my yeah. friend. I love you. Yeah. Like a friend. And then uh, I think a lot of the time you want to friend zone people because you don't want to lose them. Yeah. Because it's like guys. No, like, right. And then we did they, a little bit. Oh, you're like, okay, let's give it a chance. And then you hate each other. And it's awkward. We can never be friends. Exactly. Again. Exactly. And then it's like now you've like, lost why do you like a real it? friendship. Mm -hmm. Like just like why do we even want to attempt to ruin it? Like even if there's a one percent chance we'll never have the same kind of relationship that we have right now, why would you want to risk it? Exactly. It's the ego. It's, it's the like ego. it's always the really? ego. Guys it's the are death of everything. You know, it's like that thing. It's like guys are always have an alternative motive. Everyone's like they don't want to actually be your friend and we're like girls we're like no they're just our friend no, that's yeah. my in homie. their head they're like in the yeah. guy's head they're like no i'm dying to <laughs> i'm, try yeah. I'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> we're like oh ignorant we're like no he's not he's my friend i wonder if like any guy that's a friend with a girl that's gorgeous is like would be like yeah i would if she if she would but if not then no like yeah. whatever. I mean, like I, I feel like that's what they. I think that's definitely. men usually in general. And then that's the right. I, I respect the ones who don't. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm sorry, especially me with my personality, you'll know if I like you in that way. Yeah. yeah. So you don't need to press it because yeah. you'll know. You know, right? you know what? One of the most <laughs> annoying things is is if you tell a guy that you have a girl or a girlfriend or a boyfriend, and then they still continue to hit on you yeah and you're like and they almost think of it like oh I have a goldfish oh I thought we were talking about things that don't matter <laughs> yeah it's like what yeah. I was like no it matters it matters I really love a my goldfish and I take care of my goldfish and no one we, it. we say yeah. that like if you say Watch like I have mouth. a boyfriend you're hoping that they'll like respect that like be like oh yeah okay respect like they don't. They, yeah. think they it, don't they think of it as a challenge like oh okay oh, you cool. can't have friends yeah like, yeah okay, oh don't you hate <laughs> this yeah, Dude, that's this is the, the worst. worst one okay say a guy comes up to you they ask for your number or something I'm like no I have a boyfriend they're like I wasn't asking to be your boyfriend I was asking for your number I'm like uh rude as now like, you can't even be you, in my friend's but zone. If you, okay, if you want to get into it, yeah. what's your intent? Yeah. What, what's your intent I'm behind like, I have a, He's like, no, I yeah. said I was trying to get, uh, I want to be your friend. What about, I'm like, I have a, a lot of friends. So I don't need it. Because if somebody yeah. really wants to be your friend, they're going to come up to you and be like, <laughs> they won't just hey, ask how are you? Shit. Yeah, like, yeah, hey, how, how are you? How are you? Like, oh, you know, I like your car. Be human. Oh, yeah. yeah like, like, treat me like a human. Like, have a conversation I as girls and being, like, we've had a lot of that in our lives, so we know, we can get the vibe right away. Yeah. Literally, I know the vibe. I'm sure there's girls that do that too. What do you mean? Guys, like, just go up and be like, "Oh, you have a girlfriend? Oh, I don't care." But oh, they don't. Yeah. They no, don't vocalize it though. It's different. It's, it's just a like different. Act differently. Yeah. But going it's back like to like how guys have those intentions, that's why it's a hard for a lot of girls to have let their boyfriends have girls as friends. Yeah. Because in our heads, being friends with dudes, they sometimes have ill intentions. You yeah. know, not mm -hmm. saying everyone. Yeah. Not saying everyone, but the majority of the time. You know, there yeah. are people, you and bad people, like, that can actually legitly just be friends and yeah. never have that intent. But majority of guys do, in the back of their head, have other intentions. Yeah, yeah. for sure.
Yeah, every relationship is different. See, every person, we always go back to that. It's like you can do what ifs all day and like every, but at the end of the day, it's person to person, but we're talking about a general sense, you know? Yeah, yeah. The general population. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because I have like some guy friends that know like it would never, and it works. They're not like best, best friends, but like I have, it works. And like you can be just friends with guys. And like, sometimes yeah. it's hard for it's guys. It's actually fun because it's right. like, you get the real them, the real guy. You get to learn about guys. Like yeah. you, you get to learn more. It's kind of like, think, like with Batch, like I love having Batch as a friend. Oh, Batch is like. He's real, he'll be honest. I could, yeah. I could bring like guy stuff to him and he'll be like, oh yeah, nah, he, uh, you know, like he'll be honest yeah. about it and you'll get a real guy's perspective about it. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Melvin, <laughs> the show is called that. But um, yeah, like I think that's really cool to have. Yeah, I was thinking a lot of the times it's hard to like to the guys of fe- the fence that do like fall in love or because you were spending that much time together, you guys are together all the time, you know everything about each other. Like, mm. you're like it would be perfect if we just love each other, but it's like, but I <laughs> no. don't. You know? No, but it's like weird. I don't, you know? <laughs> yeah, I so, don't but to their this. defense, they're probably like in love with you, like helplessly in love and they can't help it because they're like, yeah. you're like perfect girlfriend. It's, I think it's harder for the person that's in love, like whether it's a guy or a girl, because yeah. it does go both ways, but it's Right, because like, girls can uh, fall in love with their best friend that's a dude and yeah, they're not they're interested like, in them. They're like, yeah, they're like, you're my friend. Yeah, it always can go both ways. Yeah. <laughs> if you really care like about the bro. person though, it's like, you're a bro, dude. accept it. Right. Yeah. You're like a sister so to me. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. I'm like, <coughs> yeah. They're like, don't touch the mic. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> the listeners are like, ow. I'm like, like shut I, up. I they're like, I bet yeah. these listeners are like, by this episode, they're like, we hate Summer's laugh. No. Yeah, dude, I is do it laugh sometimes. Im- is the laugh important for you in a relationship? Right. Like, if somebody had like a crazy laugh, dude, I, you don't have I a crazy think laugh. I, I hear it. I think it would just make me laugh ear. more because yeah. I have a lot of friends that have weird laughs, and like the more they laugh, I laugh more because their laugh is crazy. I love. I, I love no, like a, yeah, it's a laugh that's different. Mine like if I was me. down the street and I heard Summer laugh, I'd be like, Oh, that's Summer. Yeah, where she is. Yeah, I was telling Batch like a week ago that. His laugh is getting louder, <laughs> and then <laughs> and shorter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, "It is." I was like, "Yeah." Over time, it got louder and shorter. I said, like, "He's getting more lazy." He's like, he yeah. wants to make more of an impact with shorter time. He's like, I, was oh, like, I think it's I'm just because like- you got busier. And like even, and then so you shorten the laugh period because you got a text. Vine is dead, batch. You don't got to shorten your laugh <laughs> method. It's okay. But it's like a genuine <laughs> laugh too. We can do ten same. minutes yeah, on funny. IG story, yeah. bro. Right. I mean IGTV, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's got true. Ten whole minutes. Endless, endless that's amount so of time. Funny. Do you have any pets? I just have Marley right now. I had um, Marley is my snake. My oh, oh right, the snake Paul and Python, the tarantula. Yeah. But I had a dog, <laughs> yeah. and I actually had to put him up for adoption because he was a psychopath. Really? Yeah. What type of dog? He was a French bulldog. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah he, he was, had a lot of energy. Yeah, he just, he was untrainable. I had him for like two and a half years and yeah. he still was not potty trained. Yeah. He would go to the extent of peeing on my bed. Yeah. And I think, I think me traveling a lot had a lot to do with that. Yeah. So I was just like, you know, at the end of the day, like it's not fair to him either because he didn't have like a consistent schedule. Mommy home all the time. So like I would, you know, have friends watch him. And although he was treated really good, it's just like, I think that kind of confused him, so he was a little rebellious. Yeah, I think rebellious. he's like a type of yeah. dog that maybe he needs a, like hands-on. Yeah, and he needs somebody that's home all the time. Yeah. So yeah. like I, you know. And traveling, I know firsthand traveling and having dogs is the hardest thing in the world. Like I stress so heavily about trying yeah. to find like, cause you know, it's like you have someone that's watching them and then they're out of town or something and that's a new person. It's like, those are my babies. Yeah. So mm. it's like finding like a babysitter literally like, and you're no, gone for is. weeks, two weeks. Like I need to make sure my babies are okay. Are, yeah. Are, when you put your pet up for adoption, are you able to keep up with the process of it? Oh, getting into this. Yeah. I actually went on this website. I forgot what it was called, but it was like a pet adoption website. It looked yeah. pretty like, you know, you can chat with the people, you can meet with them, set up meets and. Oh, so, so you're the one. Yeah. Putting, oh, okay. So, so basically your I met up with you. the girl and she had a Pomeranian and um, they like got along really good. And I was like, oh my God, they're both black. So like black fur, that sounded bad. So somebody's gonna get me for that. No, no but we, yeah, we live in a world where you might get, not, oh yeah. but we, no, normal people know. Yeah, so they're super cute together. Mm. And I was like super excited. So I was like, okay, let's do like a test run. I'm going out of town for two weeks and you just take them and see if they get along. She called me like three days later, like your dog is a psycho. You need to come get him. I was like, really? I'm in, uh, 
another country, so I really can't. And she was like, well, don't you have a friend? But my friend had just had a baby, so she had a what? newborn. Yeah. So, and I was just like, this was stressing me out because I was working. Like, I couldn't yeah. just, like, leave. Yeah. And I'm like, see, this is why I was nervous about, you know, giving him up. So eventually she texted me a few yeah. days later, and she was like, okay, everything, we worked everything out. It's fine. I think it's going to be fine. Oh, really? Yeah, so, I mean, that was that, but. Yeah. Did she really freak out that heavily? I'd be like, no, you're not having him. I don't, but I see, can't that's what I wanted bipolar. to do, and then she she disappeared. Yeah. So it, it kind of hurt because, like, you know, he was a gift, so, like, I kind of wanted to be, like, you know, yeah. be able to, like, still communicate and see if he's doing good. Like, I bought them Christmas gifts, and she wouldn't link up with me or anything. Yeah. So it's kind of sad. So if y'all see Esco, let me know where she's Yeah, yeah let me sure she's good. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was unfortunate. So next yeah. time I will make sure that I go to, like, a friend and somebody. And then she said yeah. she moved. So she was like, I I'm, I'm live downtown L.A. or some, something like yeah. that. And then she's like, I moved. And I'm like, we, we're, praying, yeah. we're praying for him. Yeah. He's fine. I think Positive he's vibes. good, though. No, I think he's good. I think he's happy. I, she said that she was home a lot. So that's what I was really concerned about. Because I'm like, he's... And her other dog probably yeah. looked fine, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, healthy and... Yeah, no, the other dog was super happy. Um, so that's, it, like, a, a great, like... Because uh, she... Enzo? What's Esco. Esco. Esco uh, was the gift. Yeah. Right? And then, so it's like, all right, like, I got a dog now. But yeah. now you can time it on your own thing of when you're ready yeah. for a dog. Because I really wasn't ready. I really wasn't. But I, I mean, yeah. I wanted, you know how like a part of you wants something and then you're like, I'm really not ready for it. But then somebody gets it for you. You're like, mm -hmm. oh, now I have no choice but to be ready he for it. He was the cutest yeah. puppy though. Remember yeah, I was there was. for the whole process of oh, like, really? she's like, I'm getting a dog. I'm like, oh, I yeah. love puppies and dogs and everything. Yeah, he was a cutie, but he was bad. No, he, is, yeah. he had so much energy. Like, a little like, rascal. He snorted like crazy. He was so excited. He'll jump up on your shoulders. He's crazy. <laughs> Be all over the place right here. Yeah, he broke his leg like the first couple months I had him. What? He jumped out of my car. Really? Not while it was moving. Yeah, oh my gosh. He, he broke his leg. I was I like, I have a little cast. Yeah, he had what? a cast. And he used to sprint with the cast on and just be like, oh <laughs> I'm my like, God. Do you remember that? that? Yeah, it's yeah. like, I was always like concerned for him. Like, doesn't that hurt? He oh was like, you need to let that heal, dude. <laughs> so, do you, so like, weird. switching topics completely, do you have a type? Do I have a type? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get all the information I can. Yeah, out of you. <laughs> I'm like, tell me more. I feel like I don't, cause if I like line up my exes, they're not really. I like somebody who. Uh, I like people who are. This is gonna sound wrong. Cause you people gonna be like, you're a gold digger, but I do. You know, I want somebody who can do for me what I can do for myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to date somebody have who to can't. Raise I don't want to have to, you know, pay anybody's rent. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm. Yeah. No, that's hey, that's just so that's kind of, for sure. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't, I don't care if people say call me whatever for it, but like, but I mean, the people that I'm around, that's who I'm around anyway. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I wouldn't surround myself around people who are, you know, not, yeah. not trying. It's the, and it's not that. It's not even you, about the you money. It's not about the money. It's about the mindset. It's about yeah. like, are you you're content with like a bad bad credit score? You're content with you know mm -hmm. not paying your car payments? Like you're content with not going to work? Like I don't like that. That like, I think what the trait is, and I don't like people who sleep in. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. like an automatic turn off. If you sleep past eight o'clock, done. It's not out of here. Work. No, then it's just like weekend. check. Yeah, and it <laughs> X. Yeah, it's like yeah. I noticed because I was like so talking like, to somebody who did, and yeah. I was like, it was just such a turnoff. I was like, I don't like it. So you like somebody who's motivated. Yeah. So you're goal oriented. So you're not a gold digger. You're a gold digger. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and people that you know have realistic passions, yeah. I guess. And I like open-minded people mm -hmm. because I like. For a long time, I wasn't. So now that I am, I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah. So if like I meet somebody and they're not open-minded. Like, this is one thing if you're, like, scared or, like, you express yourself, like, let's go skydiving. You're like, I'm not going skydiving. Da -da -da. Or it's like, yeah. I'd rather you be like, okay, so when you went skydiving, yeah. like, how did it happen? Like, ask questions and yeah. then make your decision. Don't just be like, I'm not doing that. You know, like, yeah. I can't stand people like that. Yeah. It bothers me. No. So like, somebody that's open-minded. Yeah. Uh, entrepreneur. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and also motivated. Passionate. Mm-hmm. And do you have, are looks a thing? 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, attraction is always a part yeah, def of it. Yeah, that definitely sparks the interest. I feel like yeah. you know, if you're attracted to somebody, um, I don't. Because that's a what keeps specific, you know when like, you're not attracted and you guys have a fight, you're like, I'm out. Like you're not <laughs> getting along. But then you know that guy of cuteness, like, oh, he's so cute, kind of keeps you around. <laughs> it brings you back. It's like, uh, don't leave, but don't leave, because damn, you're cute. <laughs> it, go, it goes the other way too, of like meeting somebody you're not attracted to, and then you get to know them, and, and then like, you are attracted to them. Like, all you're of a sudden. amazing. But because you when you're you're in love with somebody regardless if like the the attraction physically is what sparked you guys you like when you're in love nobody is cuter than that person that you're, yeah. you're in no, love never. with like there's no like Channing Tatum care. whoever can walk past and you're you're like okay like yeah and that's okay. like that's a per, that's a person that I like to be with. Like, you know that yeah. mindset because not all everyone has I that mindset even Channing Tatum I'm like I think that's a person I want to be with. Like, okay. I know, no, no, he's, you, but that's the, the extent no, but I'm, of it. I'm like, pointing at so her, yeah. I'm pointing at Jenna, meaning like that mindset of like, no one's better, no one's, no one can be, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. how much. You're the everything. You don't you're compare. Everything. You don't compare. Like, 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 that's, mm. that's the thing. Like, I think that every girl, guy, everyone needs to be with someone who thinks that they're the most beautiful person exactly. in the world. I guess the question is, if personality didn't exist and only what, looks did, what would What would be? I want a guy yeah. to look like? Yeah. Hmm. What would spark the interest? I like a nice smile, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, a nice hairline. Mm -hmm. Dude, hairlines are everything. <laughs> Dude, Mine's, you know the neck hairline? That's like oh. a thing. Mine's bald, so. <laughs> like, yeah, I would rather bald than a hiding. over a hairline that's like right here. Yeah. Or either. trying to hide yeah, it, you know, like yeah. the comb over. Because bald is bald is like you have to embrace it. Handsome, like he he, he embraces the baldness yeah, it and it's good. confident and it looks good on him. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But like, if you're just even like guys, and then guys who don't value like personal hygiene, because like you could not be the cutest guy, but like if you're like, dude, have you ever seen a guy like, who's like not that cute and then you smell him? It's like. Uh, yeah, smell good. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like on top of it. So like, just like a nice like together. You smell good. Nice haircut. Um, mm -hmm. nice hygiene. Like nice teeth. Um, just put together. Yeah, put together. Take care of mm -hmm. That's the best. Self care. Because I mean, I've dated guys like this, and I've dated skinny guys. So I'm like, yeah. I can't really say like a build. Like, yeah. I like guys who value fitness, though, yeah. for sure. Because like. I can't be waking up in the morning and going to the gym first thing and you're still like asleep. Bed, and I like, can't be, I don't want to be motivating you. You need to be eating donuts as you're going to the yeah. gym. You're like, come on, like. Because you, when you're around somebody, passions. you're influenced by them. So if like this person doesn't care about their health yeah. and they're ordering pizza and like you mm. have health and fitness goals, it's like, no, like that doesn't work. Yeah, it gets you off track. It's yeah. like, because then you're going to want to like I have to be with somebody who yeah. compliments my life, you know, like. Yeah. Or it like know. pushes you to be better. Exactly. You need better. someone who yeah. elevates you. Yes. Mm -hmm. I haven't found that yet, by the way. But that's <laughs> ideally what I would. Uh, you guys, if you guys uh, want to hit up Jenna, so her number is. If you see if you her previous dog, <laughs> her links are in the description below. And, and if, if you, you see, match this description, her links, links are in, below. <laughs> in the oh description God. below. Y'all better not have my DMs lit because I'm just not ready for it. <laughs> Everyone's like, like, Jenna, I, I have nice teeth. I have a nice hairline. That's a, a question, too. How can a guy ever find you? <laughs> Like, like not your address, but like if like <laughs> if they, 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 they want to get to know you, like and they want a chance at you, how how do they get that? This is like a dating show now. We're putting it like and all of a sudden we have a dating they show. Well, that's a good question because if a guy has a crush on a girl on social media, how do they approach? Because sliding into the DMs, they're like, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. But you well, have to be. It's almost. funny because I was just talking about this. Um, there's a way to slide in the DMs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't say What's hey. The etiquette. Mm -hmm. I think the best thing, I actually turned my story replies off because it was just excessive. But yeah. like, story reply is cool. You can send a post. Like, if somebody sends my post to me and is like, oh my God, like, I love how you put that outfit together. Or like, oh, this is fire. Like, where is this? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like conversational. Yeah, it's real it's, conversational. It's about you. It's kind of like you're interested. When you just say, hey, it's like there's no substance behind, hey, you already DM'd five of my friends yeah. with that same thing. And I know because I asked them. Yeah. It's, so. it's like a chain of, mm -hmm. yeah, or like the emojis. Because like, if, hey. if it's bland, a, a I know it's... Oh. emoji? If it's yeah. bland, I know it's been sent before. Yeah. So if it's like, if it catches my eye, like if it's like something creative personal. or personal, yeah. then you're... Sorry, I hit the mic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then um, like, you know, it's... 
it's about you. It's not about anybody else. And like, even yeah. if they did DM somebody before, at least they took the time to like make it specific about you when they DM do, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of my etiquette yeah, that's on good. DMing, on sliding in the DM. I think that's Slide. good advice. No emojis, no DPs. No. Oh, please no. Oh, yeah. That's automatic block. Yeah. DPs are dick Oh, <laughs> I'm like this, I'm like TP. Yeah. Okay, um, Matt is always really politically correct, and I'm like, dick pics, bitch. Uh, I'm just <laughs> limiting the amount of buzzes. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt, I want to make you have a lot of work. I'm very vulgar. No, you're not. You're actually, a you're good. Okay. You did good today. <laughs> a little bit. I know. She did, she did yeah, great she today. Did. I think it's because okay. we're like, yeah, being, yeah. So, she's, like, being so good. she's bouncing off the energy. <laughs> yeah, I'm bouncing off the energy. Because if I was like, she would be like, our last too. podcast with Bradley, I was very vulgar. So. Really? I, th I think, <laughs> I think after all these podcasts, though, you and I are going to be learning so many new things and yeah, have a lot are. of different perspectives. Because everyone's on so different, like yeah. it's so crazy, it's so like interesting to but like, I see love how it. people answer yeah. questions. Like, We're able to have views. full on conversations with our friends that usually, like, when yeah. we see each other, it's always like, hey. Oh, oh, you oh my god, your outfit's so cute. You look yeah, beautiful. Exactly. Love your makeup. It's like surface. so surface. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. no substance, you know? That's like sliding in the DMs. Hey, we yeah, just like. Yeah. You are in the DMs all I, the time. I know. Now we're getting personal. We're swimming. Yeah, yeah. now it's cool. This is nice. We it like is this. cool. Really. <laughs> like well, it. we'll all have to go on, on an adventure soon, whether it's like a hike or something, do something fun and yeah, active. Cause yeah, I definitely would love that. We've been 100%. sitting around talking a lot, so we need to go Let's out go there clean some beaches together, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we actually, uh, Sam Colder actually posted something and was like challenging people, because you know, like, People post photos for likes all the time, yeah. so it's like, okay, who could post the photo with the most garbage that they cleaned up off the beach? I love yeah. that. So, like, some people are doing it, and I think it's a really cool thing that he started, and it's funny because I had just did the Ghana thing, so yeah. I was like, okay, perfect. Like, I'm going to promote this, too, so. That's cool. Yeah. That's amazing. If y'all yeah, are bored, that. get off yeah. social media, or if you want to take a picture of social or media, go, go clean up. Or go plant some trees. Yeah. Like, I did so this thing with uh, the Musk family. They had, like, plant a seed day. They guaranteed a day for everybody to just go out and have a social media moment of them like planting <laughs> seeds and I like went that. and I did it with a bunch of children and it brought me back to like middle school and how that was like one of the most memorable things I had for middle school mm -hmm. is like when everybody would like go out we were lucky enough our my middle school had like a greenhouse Aww. and everybody would go and like plant seeds and it was so much fun but like I don't know if kids are learning that nowadays no they're like yeah. this yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. let's get out Guys, there. Guys, I'm like trying not to die. Sorry. <laughs> what they're doing is they're Googling how do you plant a seed. They're not actually planting a seed to physically learn how to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what, like, our this new generation, what do they call it? Generation uh, uh, Z? Z? Yeah, like, that's Gen what Z? they're lacking is they're lacking the actual physical skills. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. You can Google how to do something or watch a tutorial and figure out how to do it, but. The more they see somebody doing it, and this is what I say is, like, People, celebrities get hate when they put out there that they're doing good, but that's what inspires other people to do good and see that it is it is cool to do good things. But it's actually you, the coolest thing. Yeah, yeah. and, and you, you get hate cool. if you don't do anything, and then when you actually post that, you do like, oh, you're just doing this to post it, and it's yeah. like, you can't win, so you just got to do yeah, what you, you can't feel win. is right. You go, yeah. you go do something nice for the homeless people, and then all of a sudden, wow, you're doing Some this for Some of those attention. posts were excessive, though. Not what gonna ones? Lie. What ones? <laughs> It's like, oh, oh there's, there's a way to do it. There's a way to do it. There's always an yeah. exception to everything. Not but exploding, the same. but yeah. because yeah, yeah. I work with a nonprofit called Have a Soul, and what we do is we get shoe donations and we like disperse them through like downtown LA, the Covenant House, like different uh, places where kids go. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like we have a cameraman and we ask permission if like if it's okay if he records. You document. Yeah, you know. we don't be like. Hi, like sometimes and they want to be. for a minute and leave. There's some kids yeah. that like are rappers or whatever, and we'll be like, oh, let's give you a moment. So we'll be like, okay, he's going to rap for y'all. But it's just, we're just interacting. Yeah. It has yeah. nothing to do with us giving them the shoes. Yeah. It's just a moment. Yeah. But like those moments, like I've never really received hate on that. Right. Yeah. Like but I said, there's a way to do it. There's always a way to do it. So yeah. there's a way you can do it to. Um, be genuine. Yeah, be Care. genuine and yeah, have, and make people, uh, inspire other people to do that and exactly. be like, oh, that's cool, let's do that. And there's a way to do it. Hey, guys, look how amazing. I'm such a good person. Yeah. You know? yeah. Because yeah. we, we there's a different the way to do it. homeless for Christmas and Thanksgiving every year, too, in Venice Beach. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people do come out for that social media hour because I'm like, it's crazy because now there's so many people that come, it's more volunteers than it is homeless people. You become, it becomes And I'm a like, community. I just hope y'all are being, you know, genuine 
yeah. with what you're doing. And hey, as long as like their efforts, you know, yeah. at the end of the day, as long as you're putting some effort, then great. Like, yeah, it's as long as you're helping in a yeah, little way. Yeah, with that type of situation, your intent behind it doesn't really matter unless you're, as long as you're doing it. So You're still doing it. I mean, I encourage people to be genuine, but at the same yeah. time, like, as long as you're doing it, great, you yeah. know. It's better than the opposite. Yeah. yeah. Right? Doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep doing good, guys. We love you so much. Thank you for watching this podcast. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube Oh Honey podcast. And you can listen to us on Spotify, iTunes. Mm-hmm. Just listen to us on the go. And, and if you're watching this video, us. thumbs up. Keep downloading us. We Download love you guys. Download us, guys. And thank you, Jenna, so much. You're yeah. such thank an amazing you. person. Incredible. And we love you. So. Check love out you all too. the links below, guys. Mwah. Oh, I honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs>